Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create beautiful lettering with ligatures all in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So you can see here, I have a new document and the size of this is 1920 by 1080. And I'm just gonna go over to the toolbar on the left, grab the type tool and just click and type a word. Now I'm gonna type the word howdy and you can type uh, well anything you like and I'm gonna definitely put this in the middle or it's gonna drive me nuts. And then again with the type tool, I'm just gonna select this word and then I pick a font. Now you can pick any font you like. I'd recommend like a, a handwritten or a script font with kind of a lot of flow and swirls and all that kind of stuff because typically they will tend to have more ligatures as part of them, at least from my experience. And you can use any font you like. I'm using Zenith for this tutorial and I'll try and find a link to add to the video description so you can follow along if you want to. So there we go, font with Zenith. So next what I'm gonna do is go up to window and down to glyphs and you can see I've docked my glyph panel over here on the right and this shows all the characters or glyphs that are included with this font. And you can see we have lots and lots here. Now, the word howdy, it doesn't look great. If you type a different word, it might use different uh, characters or glyphs and it might look a bit better, but this doesn't look great. And there is a degree of customizability. Is that a word? Cus customizeness? There's a degree to which you can customize this using alternative ligatures for the different letters. So a ligature is how you join one letter to another letter. And I'll look at this a bit more in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is grab the type tool. And if I just left click and select just the O in Howdy and hover over the bottom here, you can see that it pops up with some alternative ligatures. And I could click on this one, for example, and that's no good because you can see that that swoops straight across the W, so that isn't any good. But then we've got this one here. This looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, in my opinion. So, okay, well, we could select the H next. And if I go back over to the Glyphs panel, here you can see all of the different characters and you can adjust the slider here, you can zoom in, zoom out, you can resize your panel but you can also click the drop down here. And instead of just viewing the entire font, uh, you can view all of this as well, but you can also just view the alternates for the selection. So currently I've got H selected. If you didn't want to view them here on this pop-up, um, you can actually view them in the glyphs panel here as well. So whatever you highlight, it will show in that panel any alternates, or you can just do it right here by hovering over the bottom of the text. So we can see that we do have another H so we'll select this and that looks pretty good as well. So we'll try the W next. We'll select the W. Again, this one kind of swoops into the D. So we'll try and avoid that. Uh, this one links to the D quite nicely. So we're, we're doing well. We've got lots of different Ds here. So you can see it really does vary. Some of them like that look absolutely terrible. Um, no offense to those letter forms, but they just don't work. And there we go. We've got a D that actually doesn't link up. So I've got a linked one, but I could actually use the unlinked one if I wanted to do that. It might look a bit strange, but let's try the Y. Okay, so we've got a few different Ys here. So you can see I can just pick the ones that I like the most. And maybe we'll go back, we'll look at this D again. And there we go, I'll link that up. So you can see that we've actually gone from having a word that didn't look particularly great with the ligatures we started with, that actually now looks pretty, pretty nice, I think. So there we go. There's a way that you can use the glyphs panel and adjust different ligatures to link different letters together in different ways, all in Photoshop. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.